I've got a carpenter bee here, so we're gonna tie some weights to it and see how much weight it can lift. Here I've got a bunch of these plastic BB pellets glued to a string, each pellet weighing 0.2 grams. We're gonna use these to measure the bee's capabilities. This bee we got here is about 2.2 to 2.5 centimeters in length. Okay, now let's tie a string to this bee. I've designed a pretty efficient tying system that I explained in details in a previous video. I've included a link to that video in the descriptions, so if you're interested in how to do this, you could go check it out. And now we tie on that string of pellets we made earlier. Okay, time to release and see what happens. The bee is flying around with the pellets. Here's some slow motion footages showing how the pellets are moving around. We're going to use this later to figure out the peak force the bee can generate. But for now, let's investigate the weight that the bee can carry in sustained flight. To do this, I'm going to cut the pellet string short and see how many pellets the bee can carry in sustained flight. You can see that with three pellets, they're still dragging on the ground. But with two pellets, the bee can definitely carry them. So the sustained flight weight capacity is between 400 and 600 milligrams. Okay, now let's go back to figuring out the peak force. Looking through the footages, I found this frame where the bee is lifting the most number of pellets. You could tell that it's lifting six pellets off the ground based on the positions of the shadows. So that's at least 1.2 grams of weight. But we can get a more accurate estimate if we consider this angle that the bee is pulling at. Let's do a little physics here. The pellets are not accelerating very fast, so I'm going to approximate this as a static scenario. The bee is pulling on the string with the total force Ft. Now this force has a horizontal component and a vertical component, Fh and Fv, with this angle here. And here we have the weight of the six pellets pulling down and some unknown friction force coming from the rest of the pellets dragging on the ground. Based on Newton's third law, we know that this vertical force is equal to this weight, which is 1.2 grams. So then based on the angle here, we could calculate the total force, which turns out to be 14.3 millinewtons, or the weight of 1.46 grams of mass on Earth. I found a study with some data showing that the average weight of a male carpenter bee is about 350 milligrams. The bee that we caught was a male because it has this yellow dot on its head. So in summary, the bee has a body weight of around 350 milligrams and it can carry an additional mass of four to 600 milligrams in sustained flight, or an additional mass of 1500 milligrams at its peak. So yeah, it could definitely carry more than its own body weight, which is pretty cool. Well, hopefully this has been interesting and educational for you. See you next time.